Alright, what's up YouTube? I just want to start by saying I wish everyone a happy Easter. You know, if you celebrate, wish you well, wish all your, your families well. Hope you have a good day. It's a, it's a beautiful day in New York. It's like raining on and off. It's kind of weird, but I had a little ride to take, so I figured uh, I'd test out this camera I got in the car. But um, let's get into business. Triple G. You know, there's a lot going on with Triple G since the Daniel Jacobs fight. All right, we've heard that he's injured. You know, I don't really know any details of the injury, but Team Triple G has pretty much said that they're injured. A lot of people speculating now whether or not he's just using that as the buy off time to get the winner of the Canelo Chavez Jr. fight. Not really the winner. I don't know. You know, I don't know what he's doing. You know, I mean, listen, if Chavez Jr. wins the fight, would he still fight Canelo over John Chavez Jr.? You know, I mean, that that would be a rematch immediate, you know, because everybody, everyone expects, uh, well, most people expect Canelo to win that fight, as he should. But, um, Triple G, you know, everyone, uh, Everyone is talking now because he actually looked beatable in a fight. All right, uh, this is the first fight he actually really looked beatable. I mean, you know, people say the Kell Brook fight, but uh, he stopped Kell Brook in five rounds, so I don't know how he really looked beatable in that one. All right, he was a little reckless, he got hit a little bit, but wasn't nothing serious to me, and at least not in my opinion. Uh, Saunders. You know, guys like Billy Joe Saunders, who I respect as a boxer. I mean, as as far as his skill and his talent, I think he's one of the best middleweights. You know, he's definitely, uh, not definitely, but I think he's top three middleweight. You know, he's right up there with, you know, after Triple G and uh, Danny Jacobs, in my opinion. But um, he clearly didn't want to fight Triple G at one point, you know, once... When Triple G was invincible and everyone at 160, not 168, not 154, but everyone at 160 was ducking him. Billy Joe Saunders, you could throw him on a list too of people that was ducking Golovkin. You know, Golovkin did not want to fight or Saunders did not want to fight Golovkin at any point. You know, I give Saunders props for taking on Andy Lee and beating Andy Lee and uh, beating um, what's this guy name uh, what's this guy name that just went up to 168 I can't think of his name right now apologize I don't know why I can't think of his name right now I'll think of it later but anyway um, Saunders you know he's calling Triple G out now you know Triple G have a rough fight with one of the best middleweights in the world and everyone thinks he's overrated now just like that you know I, 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 I listen whether you like Triple G or not you know you might hate him you might hate his fans but let's not act like he's ducking Saunders man like come on man I'm seeing people say that in the comments people making videos saying that this guy is ducking Saunders like come on man like how far are you willing to reach to show your hatred for this guy or his fans you know because I really believe it's nothing against Triple G I think a lot of people just dislike Golovkin because of his uh, some of his annoying fans that's what I, I personally believe I'm a big fan of Triple G but I don't go crazy like some of the fans do. So I understand, you know, those guys in the comments with the Golovkin picture and they just come in and they they only go to any video that's related to Golovkin or any rival of Golovkin, like Andre Ward related videos or, you know, Danny Jacobs or any, you know, Eris Lanny Law or anyone that's ever... They, those are the guys that just pop them only solely on those type of videos. I get it. But let's not act like Golovkin wasn't trying to fight Saunders, you know? Now, listen, I don't know if Golovkin is really injured. You 
know, I, I don't know. You know, I don't know if they're trying to buy off time to see the outcome of this fight with Chavez Jr. And, but regardless, you know, I, I personally, I wish Triple G would just go straight to Saunders now. Solidify your middleweight career. Become undisputed. You become undisputed. It's no debate. All right. When you get 20 plus knock knockouts in a row as a middleweight and then you become undisputed, you know, there's no debate. You solidify your career, your legacy right there. If you just get this, just grab this last belt. I mean, people that hate on a guy, they're going to continue to do that. All right. They're, gonna, they're not going to stop. No matter who Golovkin fights and beat, they're not going to stop. I've learned that with Floyd Mayweather and all the other fighters, great fighters that came and went in this sport. People are always going to criticize you in some some kind of form or fashion. All right? You beat everybody. People are going to say, oh, you didn't fight this guy. You didn't fight that guy. Oh, you, you almost lost that fight. You didn't look good in this fight. That's not going to stop. But becoming undisputed, not in one fight, but you had to literally fight other title holders and get the belt. No one's ever going to dispute that. You know, I, I know Canelo gave up the belt and everything. He didn't beat Canelo to get it. But Canelo should have never had it in the first place. Cotto should have never had it in the first place. I mean, Cotto did go up at 160, but he fought one guy at middleweight and didn't fight. He didn't try to unify at all. He fought one guy at middleweight that held a title that was on his last fight. For drained another middleweight. For Canelo. Canelo went for the welterweight. And then he eventually ended up giving up the belt. Triple G never got the opposite. That's not his fault. See, that's understandable. But he collected those other belts. You know? He defended his belts. He fought his mandatories. He didn't duck anyone at 160. You know, the Canelo thing, the guy made you wait before. How are you so sure you're going to fight Canelo now? I mean, I think it's a good fight. I mean, I want to see the fight. And I still think there's a good chance. I think there's a better chance that Canelo will fight him now that he looked a little vulnerable in his last fight. You know, I did think Danny Jacobs won the, won the fight by a point. You know, it was a close fight. A fight that could have gone either way. Um, I, I personally thought... I thought this fight was a little bit more debatable about who won. More so than the Andre War fight with Kovalev. Even though I picked Kovalev... I, even though I thought Kovalev won by a point. I thought the rounds were a little bit more clear for Kovalev in that fight. Where in this fight with Jacobs and uh, Golovkin, I thought they were a lot harder to score. That's just my personal opinion. I'm only bringing that fight up because a lot of people want to compare the two fights. You know, uh, both controversial decisions. You know, a lot of people thought Kovalev won. You know, he lost the fight. Um, they gave it to Ward. I mean, I'm a Ward fan. I wanted Ward to win. I just didn't think he did enough to win, even with the comeback. Um, I thought uh, at least at mere minimum, the uh, knockdown secured the fight for Kovalev with the extra point. But in this fight with Jacobs and Golovkin, I thought it was a little bit more debatable, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Um, you know, but... Listen, man, I, you know, I just wanted to give my quick thoughts on this whole thing. I personally wish Triple G just get Saunders out of the way. I believe if he had fought Saunders in June, if he's really injured or not, well, I don't know if he's really injured or not. If he's injured and he needs some time off, then come back in September. Hopefully either Canelo's available or if not, Saunders is still willing to fight him. You know, who knows? I don't know what's going to happen at this point, you know? But I think Triple G's number one priority should have been becoming undisputed because Canelo could still back out and not fight him, you know? But it, make, it would make more sense now for Canelo to fight him if he does well against Chavez because Canelo's officially going above middleweight. So 
it would make more sense for Canelo to fight him now. Um, but that's all I really want to say. I don't want to make a long video. I'm just testing this camera out. I don't even know if it's going to come out clean and the sound is going to be good. Uh, I got some more equipment coming for this camera. Uh, I'm going to end it off with this, though. Um, what do you guys think of Triple G right now? Do you feel like he's on a decline? Do you think the age is catching up to him? All right. Do you think... I personally believe that Jacob's coming in weighing as much as he did. All right. Training, the camp that he had, the team that he had, you know. And you got to remember, the longer you fight, the longer it's going to take for guys. I mean, the, the, the easier it's going to take the next opponent to figure you out. When guys start finding weaknesses, they come up with a better game plan going into the fight. You got to always remember that. You, you, you fight Jacobs, who's a bigger middleweight. A guy can easily fight at 168. Supposed to be going up to 168 now. Jacob studied his, his weaknesses. You know, you go into a fight, you're a bigger guy, you're an explosive puncher. You know, Triple G can't use the same kind of tactics he did against a Kell Brook, a smaller guy. There's plenty of reasons on why Jacobs did well compared to all of the other fighters at 160 against Triple G. Okay? I personally thought that it was a great game plan. It was all skill related on Jacobs end do you think that Triple G is slowing down do you think him being 35 years old is it slowing down is it catching up to him is it the hits he takes a lot of hits in some of these fights do you think he's slowing down do you think he's he was really injured in that fight I don't know or, or do you just straight up think he was overrated and he wasn't that good and then he finally fought a good fighter and he looked vulnerable what do you think? I would like to know. Leave those comments. Drop those comments. Make sure you subscribe. Hopefully, hopefully this video came out okay. I can load it up. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a, a great Easter. All right, peace.